Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. You already know is it's your girl Pink, and this video is going to be a review on the Sador hair that I was sent to review. So if you're interested in seeing my review on the Sador hair, okay guys. So I already did the initial review for this hair, you know the unboxing and all that, show and tell. This is going to be the install video in my first video. Again, like I said, this hair is from Sador Inc. This is the logo. And the owner of the name. The owner of the name. The name of the owner who owns the company. She go by the name Saucy. And I want to thank her again for allowing me to do it, for doing this review. Um, I just installed this hair a day ago. Um, I'm going to have some clips in how I made it. <sighs> this hair has been a journey. Okay, um, I washed the hair, and I dyed the hair, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's supposed to be like a, a copper, kind of like a red copper, but to me it looks like honey. I don't know if you guys can see, it looks more honey color. I used the Cream of Nature, and this is new, and this is the red copper, <clears throat> 6.4. looks like this. Hold on, you guys, I need to drink something in my throat. <clears> throat> Okay, um, yeah, I used this to dye my hair. And, as you can see, it's nowhere near this color, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, the hair didn't take, or whatever. I did, I highlight the hair before I did this, and the hair was, like, really, really blonde. Like, this color blonde, like my real hair. <clears throat> but, I don't know. I still like the color. It's like a honey, but I wanted it that color, but that's cool. Um, I did get shedding. When I wash the hair, I have two bundles of 18 inch, and I got a lot of shedding when I wash this hair. And here it is. I put it in the box after I did it, but yes. And this is the color I was sending you that it turned out. So yeah. A lot of shedding when I did that. So I knew from that that I would have to seal my wefts. I didn't feel like going through the motions of sealing my wefts, waiting, and then doing the install. So, I did my wig with a glue gun. I got my glue gun from CVS. little regular glue gun. Looks like this. 10 watt. I think the highest these glue guns go up to is like a 30 watt. I'm not sure. Maybe even higher. I was told that the 10 watt um, glue guns wouldn't work well. You know, on doing this method. The glue gun method. But it worked perfect for me. You just have to let the gun like sit out for at least, I want to say, between 30 to 45 minutes before you use it to get it like really, really hot. Because if you plug it up and then just start using it while the glue is hot, like the glue dries super, super fast before you can even get the track on there, it's not going to work. So it worked for me. This is only like 6 or $7. And it came with some glue sticks, but I also bought a couple packs of my own. And the glue sticks just look like this. And yeah, and you got the job done. Um, this is two packs of hair, and it really, you know, really, really filled it out. Last time I used two packs of hair, it was not good. My hair looked real thin, real skimp, and I was like, this hair looks real thin and skimp. I'm, I'm not going to be able to do it with you because most of the time, two bundles is not enough. But thankfully, this was, and I got a chance to continue with the review. Like, the hair is really full. Like, you know, she sent me two bundles, but it was, like, real long. So, you know, thank God that it worked out. Um, like I said, it shed before I did it. It hasn't shed since I've had it in. Um, this is on a wig cap. The first style I did, I put the, you know, I shaped it into, like, a wig with a bang. And I'll show you clips as I'm talking. I did, like, the wig with the bang. And then I curled it or whatever. And then when I installed it. It, it wasn't installing right for me. I didn't like it. So then I had to think of something else to do. So then I had to cut the wig on the side into like a triangle. And then that's how I put it in now. And this is doing the trick for me for right now. So that's why it looks like this because it was like a whole bang in the front. I just cut it on the side. So I like how it's looking now. Not used to the style. Something new for me. But I'm digging it. I just wanted the hair. The hair did curl easily. The curls, though, like, drop, like, they were dropping as I was doing it. So, I had to keep on curling it. And, as you can see, 
They're very loose now. They're still curly, but very loose. I'm definitely not impressed with that because I just curled this hair like... Well, I've been out to the club, so... About four hours ago. And they dropped like so fast. And then when I was in the club, my hair got real frizzy and everything. Like, I don't know if it was the humidity. I don't know what it was, but my hair was like real frizzy. And thank God I carried my purse and I carried, um, my, my Moroccan Ergon oil from Organics. I carried this in my purse, thank God. And I, you know, went through my hair and I was good because I was looking like a damn poodle in there. Um, what else I can say about this hair? Um, I can't really say too much because, like I said, this is the install video. Um, like I said, it did shit before. So far, so good now. I'm not impressed with, like, how my curls are holding up. So, we're going to try this again. Like, I have curls, but they, like, drop so quick. Usually, curls drop within a couple of days. And the curl wasn't really that hot, so I, I don't know. Can't really speak on that. Um, my ends are dry. I'm sure that's probably from the bleaching, so I'm probably going to do another deep conditioning treatment to this hair and see how that works out. Um, yeah, no, not really no complaints right now besides that it doesn't hold a curl to my liking. Um, that's all I can say for right now. I can, I can I definitely say that the owner um, and the company itself is very good. It's very, very good customer service. Like, when I email her, she emailed me back, like, I don't want to say within minutes, but I want to say with, like, an hour or two, I have, like, a response from her. Like, the communication is very awesome. Like, you all know I've been, had to get my tonsils moved, so I was communicating with her, you know, because I had to prolong, like, putting the hair on and stuff, and she was very understanding, and, um, like, she, she's very good. She's not all mean and nasty, like a lot of these um, hair company owners or whatever. So, like, thumbs up on the customer service 100%. Um, right now, if I had to rate this hair, I will, out of a, a, on a scale from 1 to 10, I will probably rate this hair a, I'll rate it a 7. Because I haven't had it in that long. And... And I'm still, like, getting a feel for the hair. Um, tangling? Not really, as you can see. Not really no tangling. Um. Yeah, not really no tangling. Um, the hair? It's, I can't say that it's soft. I can't explain how it feels. It's not rough, but it's not soft. That's why I want to put another treatment in because I'm thinking it's probably probably the bleach that's making it. You know, I bleach do hair. If you you do hair, you know how bleach is. So that's what I'm thinking. But the head did the thing for me tonight. I was cute, you know. Did my thing in the club. Wasn't supposed to be out there because I'm not full recovered yet. But had to go out to support my friend for her birthday. And I wanted to see all my old friends. And they love the hair so Good for the door. Um, I will be doing another review. Probably going to wait to maybe two weeks before I do my next review. But yeah, um, that's it you guys. Thanks for watching. All the information will be down below if you're interested in this hair. Um, also, I have some videos down below of, I think her name is Sheree Loves Me. I think that's how you pronounce her name. But she also did a review. And you guys can look at her review. Her hair is the curly hair. And check her out. Thank you guys for watching. And until my next video. Mwah.